Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a loading screen in Roblox Studio 2021. Last time I did one of these videos I did a click shop um, in 2021. People have been saying that it works but some people say that it doesn't work so the people that it doesn't work for I'm currently trying to help to make it to make sure it works because it should work. Because if it doesn't work, then you probably have missed a step or just haven't done something correctly. But yeah, in today's video, we're going to be making a loading screen. A loading screen is a bit more advanced than making a click shop because there's a lot more scripting in this one needed. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one in this video right here. So to start off, we're going to have a flat surface right here. Yeah, we have a green flat surface. It You can do this on any type of surface. You don't need it to be on grass. You can be on anything. So what you want to do to begin with is you want to go over to start the GUI and you want to add a screen GUI. Again, this is always the thing that you want to do, add a screen GUI. And in the screen GUI, you add a text label. Now in this, again, you can customize this text however you want. You can change it like I, you have to turn off the background transparency though. So I would suggest doing that. You can drag the text into the middle. Now you can just customize it however you want. I am going to do it the way I want to do. <laughs> Take away the so border pixel. And yeah, if you don't know how to do such things, if you you can go watch my ClickShop video. I show what all of these things in the properties do. So I am going to customize this thing a bit. There is a texture that I really liked. Which was it highway. Yeah, I like this one. Um, it should say, okay, so in this one, it has to say loading, loading and then three dots. I'm going to be showing you how and why it needs to be loading. Well, it doesn't have to be loading, but it's the most obvious thing for making a loading screen. Okay, so now we're going to scale it. We are going to, we don't need to change the color. The color is, is perfect. Okay, so here we go. The text is right in the middle. Um, I'm going to see if everything's right. Or actually, let's just let's do the text white, um, and let's make some outlines. Okay, so now we have done the text, as you can see here. Now you want to go over to the Explorer right here, and you see, you want to click the plus on the text, and you want to add a local script to the text. So now the coding start parts, and this is where I'm going to be showing you how to code it. And this one, it does not require a lot, but it's still not as easy as making um, what is it called a click shop but okay so I'm gonna be showing you how to code this part and what we're gonna code here is basically the three dots at the end are gonna be start are gonna start blinking so there's gonna be like one dot at a time that blinks and then another one and then another one and it's just gonna continue like that you'll see when we do this okay so to begin with you want to type function space parent underscore load with these two right here all right so make sure okay this is a very big mistake i made during this is you do not when you have made these two jump over to the end over here and then go enter if you went if you go enter in the middle this line at the end is just going to go down and then the script is just not going to work and it's going to fail a lot i've done that mistake a lot and don't do it yourself Okay, so the next thing we're going to type is while true do. And after this, you want to go down the line again. You want to type script.parent.text equals that loading dot. Yep, this is basically the first thing it's going to say. Again, jump over to the end and go enter. Then you want to type wait let's do this is and the screen part right here that's the sec that's the amount it's the amount of seconds it takes um so we're gonna do 0 0.3 and then you wanna oh yeah see see what i did here i accidentally forgot to jump to the end that could have been bad um we're gonna do again now script dot parent dot text equals that loading you want to type this for free um like rows but as you can see i i add a dot on every single one as the first one there's one second one is two and there's gonna be three so we're gonna have three rows and then you do wait exactly the same thing you do the same thing and now again 
script.parent.txt um, equals um, loading three dots. There we go. So now we have um, wrote down it. So as you can see, why did we write parent load? Well, that's because now you want to go down to 11 and you want to go down the row and then you want to type, oh, what was it? Parent load, yeah. Okay, so you want to type parent load. This is um, what basically makes the script work. <laughs> this is basically what makes the script work. Okay, so now we've made the first part of the script. This one, this thing is done. Now you want to go over to screen UI and add a local script. Um, so we're going to do even more scripting. This one, this script is pretty big, so be prepared that it's going to take a bit, maybe. Okay, so the thing that you want to type in this script is function dot player underscore load again. You want to do the same thing. Go to the end down, and then you want to type local blur. Um, equals instance oh, instance dot new that's you don't want to do a big new and then you want to do that that blur effect um what is that I don't know what that's called but game dot lightning yep so this basically gives it the blur so while it's loading it's going to be blurry which is pretty cool. And here you want to type blur dot size equals I'll do a hundred because that's basically the best. <laughs> then you're gonna then you want to go down two rows and then we're gonna type local camera game dot workspace dot um, current camera. Um, now we have to type we're gonna go down the row first. You want to type weight that. 0 0.0001 that is basically how long it takes for you to get into the like the loading screen like camera it's you kind of want it to be fast so it's gonna be serious it's gonna be 0 0.0001 okay we're gonna go down the row we want to type camera dot camera type equals that scriptable I'm sorry if I just say that for some things but I don't know what they're called in English but you can just copy it right from me. I'm gonna be linking the scripts in the description if you don't feel like typing them in. Ty them in. Okay, I, can I can't talk. <laughs> okay, so now you wanna go down two rows. You wanna type local load time equals five seconds. And you can also type that this is seconds. You don't need this to be in the script, but I'm just saying that this is seconds. Okay, so now we want to do two rows again. You want to type wait load underscore time. This is, again, I told you a pretty big script, So, but we're almost done. We're not that far ahead now. Okay, so now we want to type script.parent.textlabel.text dot dot oh, that's text equals done. Okay. Wait, actually, we can have it finish, finished low thing. This is basically, the, what I wrote right here is basically what's going to appear when the loading is finished. So here I typed finished loading. You can type like done or anything like that. Like this is just going to show up when the loading is done, like this text. So I'm, I'm going to have it as finished loading. We're going to go down a row again. We're going to type script.parent.textlabel dot local script dot disabled equals false there we go no true not false um, <laughs> I'm stupid okay, so now we want to go, go down two rows yet again we want to type wait um, I don't know what that's called in English <laughs> sorry I'm just so bad at I don't know what they're called okay I'm not I'm not from it an English country I'm Swedish <laughs> okay so now we want to go down two rows again and this is the last like big thing without that we have to script before it's an end so now we're gonna do script dot parent dot enabled equals false yeah we're gonna do 
go under one blur dot size equals zero yeah this is basically what it means like when it disable like when the thing disables the blur just goes away then you want to go down you want to do camera dot camera type equals custom yeah that's basically everything except this this is the thing that you want to do on every single script in this you want to go down two rows under exit and then type player load so here we go here we have the script ready so if we go over to the flat terrain now this is the text and when we hit play the loading screen should work yeah see finish loading and boom if you didn't see that guys but the loading screen actually worked I'll play that for you guys one more time this is a very satisfying thing to watch actually loading and finish loading boom that's basically how this works <laughs> but yeah this is how you make a loading screen in Roblox Studio 2021 Again, I found this off, an, off another guy that made this in July to 2020, but I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna link his channel in the description. Like, he was the one that originally, I like, I got inspired by this guy and I used his scripts and that, but it's working. So, this is the updated version if you think that one is outdated, but I'm gonna link his channel in, in the description because it was, um, for first of all, his, like, script and video, so... I have to give him a shout out and the scripts are also going to be in the description but um, I would suggest typing them out instead because it's way easier and you can do it however you want um, so yeah it's basically up to you but yeah thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here and be sure to turn on the notifications so you get notified whenever I upload a new video to my channel and without further ado I'll see you guys in the next video bye